finally! You're back from the space store! Master Walsh, there are no space stores. I had to actually fly- Sick! Did you get the drinks? Yes, I got several kinds. Did you get the snacks? I freeze-dried yogurt balls. Did you get the condoms? Yes, six large packs. Utterly horrifying. This party is gonna be dummy litty, Carlisle. You ever party on a spaceship? Only the practice parties. Well, practice makes perfect, baby! Have a drink with me before the guests arrive, Carlisle. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. Uh, I'd prefer to Come be... here, you little party Ow. pig. I'm gonna Ow. make you drink. Stop. Ow. Get over Please. here, mud guzzler. Hey, woo. don't do He's that. He's all thick enough. No, so Please. Yeah, woo. <sighs> Carlisle, take the suit off. I want to see how long you can last. Hello, Olivier. Sup, Demi. Oh, uh... <laughs> hello. Uh, greetings, Miss Powell. Which one? What? Which greeting? Uh... Hello? Olivier, I love your big spaceship. It's the front of the ship, Demi. It's the dumbest part. I'd love to see your dumbest part. What the hell does that... Taylor, you made it! I couldn't miss an Olivier Walsh party on a spaceship. So, Taylor, tell me, how's the book you're working on? Well, um, actually, I was kind of on a short dry spell, but now I think I really have Oh, right, yeah, it's all wet now. You know you're lucky to be here, Taylor? Excuse me? Tonight's gonna really give you something to write about. Look, everyone, it's Ed Austin from prison! (gasps) Uh, yes, I was in prison for a non-violent drug offense, but that is all behind me. I've completely changed my life, and I'm ready to live as an honest man. And honestly, I only got arrested because- Ed, did you, uh, bring anything with you to the party today? Hmm? Uh, no. Damn it! I did have a question. Why did you assign me to the orange jumpsuit? It's a little traumatizing, honestly. Everyone be cool. He's royalty. Yes, I am royal on Earth, but I am attending this party as simply one of the people. I'm sorry, you're wearing your crown on the outside of your suit? What kingdom are you from? Well, you see, my skull is still forming, and the crown helps hold the shape. As for my kingdom, I am Can from... Can I take off my shoes? Is that a kid? No, 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 no! Come on, a kid? Where do I put my shoes? I took them off inside the jumpsuit, and they're sort of just flopping around inside. Oh, I I can take your shoes. Oh, and uh, Miss Powell, if you'd like to take your shoes off. Stop. Too desperate, Carlisle. Kid, who are you and why are you here? I'm Liam Bassett. You invited my parents, but they were busy, so I got dropped off. Do you have Gatorade? This kid is harshing the vibe. I'm sorry. Am I late? Are we late? Walsh, buddy. I can't wait to celebrate my retirement from being a detective tonight. Neil, you're gonna hate me. I think I left the party poppers at home. Neil West, I can't wait to finally party with you. You know, I've always wanted to party with this guy, but he was just too busy with all of his detective work to party. Well, not anymore, Walsh. I'm all done solving cases. Hi, Grandpa. I'm staying on Neil's couch now. Alan? Alan, please. Fantastic! Now that everyone is here to start this party, I want to show you all the rest of this badass spaceship. So, yeah, basically I bought this bitch off NASA, gave him some of that Cold War type money. Still waiting on some of the maintenance people to arrive, though. I think they've had, like, three fatal missions trying to get here, and I literally only steered the ship into one of them. Anyway, uh, this is where the fireworks show will happen later, and... Oh, right. Carlisle insisted that I don't get rid of this. It's an emergency button, but tonight I thought of a drinking game for it, where whenever it gets pressed, we all have to fill our suits with... Huh? Ah, damn it. Nobody worry, I'll go fix it. Stay here, and I'll show rather than tell. Olivier? Olivier? Don't worry. I'm here, Miss Powell. (laughs) What was that? What happened? (laughs) Neil! What's going on? Uh, Alan, relax. See, it's fine. Now let's go find the others. No! My poor Olivia! How did this happen? Calm down! My friends, it looks like there's been a murder on the ship tonight. And I'm willing to bet that the murder happened or the murder is was done by us by one of us. Yes, I do. Right. Wait, aren't you a detective? Well, I swore that I was done with that life. But I suppose that I, Neil West, am going to have to solve this case. This is incredible. And I, Alan, am gonna help you. Take it away, Neil. I never thought I'd have to do this again. This is a tough one, but... The butler definitely did it, if not Orange is sus. What? Me? Are you kidding? Honestly, I'm very inclined to agree. This is ridiculous! Think for a second. Orange is absolutely sus. Ed is literally in Master Walsh's contact book as the plug. He's only here because it was assumed he'd bring drugs. 
He's got a very good reason to kill the master, seeing as it was at another of Walsh's parties that Ed was arrested. That's true, but it honestly wasn't me. It could have been the writer. You could be setting this all up to finally have an interesting story to write. You know you hated Walsh. We watched as he humiliated you when you first arrived. He knew you weren't writing anything. He only wanted you here to document his party. I have like six different interesting concepts that I'm just mulling well, over right now. Well, it could right have been now. Master Allen. He's the grandson of Master Walsh, and yet he's got no financial help from him at all. For heaven's sake, he's couch surfing at the detective's house while Olivier is literally in space, throwing a party that Allen wasn't even invited to. Dang. My bad. I didn't know I was party crashing, Grandpa. The murderer could be the king. We are currently directly above his kingdom, and he might have tried playing this as a crime under his own jurisdiction in an effort to seize Master Walsh's property. Borders are drawn on the ground, not in the air, so technically... I'm not going to humiliate myself and frame a child for murder. That being said, this kid has been making us very uncomfortable, and we all feel it. I didn't do it. Why, it could have even been you, Master West. You have such a reputation behind you, perhaps you wanted to see if you were clever enough to pull off a case with yourself as the perpetrator. Perhaps that's what you've been doing all along. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> My lovely Miss Powell, please. I would never think to blame you, even if you are a scorned lover of Master Walsh's. You simply romanticized him when in your heart you knew what you really want. Please, Demi. You know I was right next to you when the power went out. Your attention was on that boy when you had this man right next to you. You know, I'm actually having a moment of clarity. You both suck. Carlisle did it. Everyone grab the incel. Not me, Liam. Sorry. No! Wait! Please! Oh, why do nice guys finish last? Well, that should take care of that problem. Now, we have another. The only two people who had any idea how this ship works are dead. I say we all split up and try to figure out how to get home. Good idea. I don't get it. How are there leaves in here? Oh, this looks really bad. <gasps> no way. Take out the trash in the... Hey, Neil. Can you stand outside the bathroom for me? Ugh. Taylor was standing on top of the king. Wait, wait, I, I can explain. Grab him. No, please! I also found the body of Ed in the reactor room. Hmm. Could this mean there are two killers? I bet there are two killers. If that's true, we're still in danger. What? Everyone stay away from each other. The game's afoot. Come on, Alan, think. Who done it? What if I done it? <gasps> Demi! It is Liam. Oh, I'm sorry, Alan. Neil, does this mean you don't want me sleeping over anymore? You know, Alan, I thought you'd be the easiest to kill, but you made me look really good with your blind faith in me. Honestly, kid, you started growing on me. Now... I'm not so sure if I have what it takes to end this. Neil, why did you do it? You were one of the good guys. Actually, that butler creep was exactly right. I used to just commit crimes and then cleverly pin them on someone else. Never got caught, and it got boring. But you know, kid, you could have been a real detective. Do you really think so? <coughs> so it was you? Why'd you kill the King and Alan? I know, I give in to peer pressure too easily. Right. Let's get you home, Al- uh... Liam. 